or the limits to populism. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it, it, in the same way that representative democracy uh, uh, kind of you you tell the story of how it uh, it kind of reaches its limits and and and, and uh, this uh, populist uh, germ is in it uh, from beginning to end and it it, it flourishes. Uh, we live in a populist moment. It, uh, are there ways of uh, reasons to expect that it will exhaust itself? So not only by being challenged by new imaginations, but just simply because uh, um, it reaches its limits. I, I, I think that may be yeah, I think so. what's happening in the United States right now, by the way. Yeah, yeah. That is uh, usually important. First, we cannot, uh, we cannot use the word populism to cover everything. Yes. Populism for me is a strategy for power. Mm -hmm. Um, instrumental, using rhetoric, using the rhetoric that we know, creating the people. Since the people is not there, it is a creation. So it's okay. But we cannot use, uh, so there are uh, other uh, important categories we have to use, ideology, uh, uh, republican or conceptions of uh, society, so many others. But populism is a simple strategy in moments of uh, transition or in moments of critical um, uh, situation. So this is one. Now, the question is, and then, once you have a populist, a populist uh, train in actions, you know, imagine the train that leaves the stations and starts running uh, in the prattery, uh, in the, in the, oh, oh, where it stops? Where is the stop? Well, this is the reason why I think we have to look for strategies of containment. Uh, perhaps one may say uh, with Laclau, and I think Laclau has a great idea uh, uh, underneath, and he knew very well, uh, he understood very important thing. If it is true that these, these solutions of uh, partisan aggregations is over, that nobody is capable of unifying uh, these claims, clearly populism is the best way functional to a neoliberal society in which there is an horizontality of uh, individual, individualism all the people scattered, and then who can unify them if not uh, an ideology so strong as the populist one, which can be, in, in each country, take different antipathetic uh, and possible uh, uh, characteristics. In the case of, uh, uh, of uh, well, many countries in Europe, uh, it's uh, frightening because it's a way of uh, re Re, um, um, relaunching through populism, relaunching all ideologies like uh, nationalism, chauvinism, forms of exclusionary uh, of mi minorities inside, uh, kind of cleansing of the people, cleansing of the people with one kind of vision of it. So where is the, uh, the end? Well, the end can be terrifying in my view for this reason. Although populism is, yet, is not yet outside of democracy, it can be the open door to something that we really don't know what it is. Could be a dictatorship, could be a different regime. And we, so we are in very, in my view, we are experiencing a time of regime transformation.